2005 Trailblazer with the rear AC. The rear AC blower motor was not working intermittently. Basically when you turn the key on the blower motor will not run for three minutes and then the blower motor kicks on and everything works fine. It's, well the blower motor works but the air doors would not work. It was throw, had these codes for the rear AC and both of these codes will set if the actuators do not, uh, if, if they fail their calibration. And if they fail their calibration the blower motor is delayed for three minutes and it doesn't matter if it's uh, this is the air temperature blend and this is the mode actuator uh, the mode actuator was stripped you can hear it popping this one wasn't doing anything so I got two brand new AC Delco here's the part number they're both the same part number and stuck them in there and they turned just a little bit and then stopped wouldn't do anything well what would happen is these things the potentiometer board was clocked wrong in both of these these are made in China See that? Made in China. The factory ones, which I've reinstalled with new gears, are made in Korea. Anyways, um, well, when these things would go past the uh, where they should be, and, uh, well, they wouldn't go past where they should be, but the potentiometer would go to zero, would go to ground on this one. The air door would go all the way over this way first during calibration, and it would ground the signal. And so, therefore, it would throw the code, the same exact codes. It would throw the same codes that it was throwing before that it had with the old actuator that was stripped, and the old, both of them had broken gears on the inside. But even with the new ones, it still threw the same code, which really threw me for a loop, and I ended up putting a control head in there. It still didn't fix the problem. That's when I started looking at the uh, other problems. But when that potentiometer would ground, it would shut the whole circuit down and you, you could no longer uh, control the actuators. Both of them were dead in the water. And um, so anyways, what you want to do is take the gears out. Here is the aftermarket Chinese ones that did not work. Here's the old gears. All the old gears can be changed out with the new gears. But you want to reuse the old motor and the old because uh, this is what's wrong is the circuit board this printed circuit board this potentiometer ring is clocked wrong Which is why when those doors would go full sweep it would go off of the uh, off of the potentiometer and ground the signal I Used the old housings new gears and the old housings with the old motors and old Circuit boards just to recap, this is how I'm assembling it. We got the new big gear, old motor, old housing, old board, and we're gonna use all three new plastic gears on top. Just FYI, you can interchange the motors. If this motor was bad, you could do it if you wanted to. It's just a couple of solder connections. In order to recalibrate the doors, what you wanna do is you wanna pull this fuse back here. It's the HVAC B. 10 amp fuse HVAC B pull that fuse for uh, 10 seconds you also want to before you do that clear to clear the codes with the scanner um, then turn the ignition off unplug the scanner it says specifically unplug the scanner pull your fuse for 10 seconds then put the fuse back in then start the car and let it run uh, for 45 seconds it took about a, m a minute so after after a minute it would completely calibrate the actuators and if anything went wrong with the actuators it would then throw any type of trouble codes you can also do a manual recalibration on the scanner but it seemed that doing the fuse thing worked the best